Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Hiba, and here on my channel I cover recent missing person cases. If you're into that type of content, please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's case. Today I'd like to talk about Samantha Tomlinson. Samantha, who also goes by Sam, is 37 years old and lives in Fresno, California. She's a huge animal lover and has a dog named Atlas three cats, and a horse named Tuffy. Samantha loves animals so much that she actually studied animal sciences in college, and she works as a canine handler for the Fresno County Department of Agriculture. There's actually a video of Samantha and Zoya, her canine partner, at work. I'll insert that here so you know a little bit more about her role. I also think that this video sheds some light on Samantha's personality. Okay, honey, you're gonna look too soft if we're just sitting here holding hands. You know, you're used to seeing your police dogs, um, your search and rescue sort of dogs, but a lot of people aren't aware that there are dogs trained specifically to find agriculture material and help protect agriculture in general. My name is Samantha Tomlinson. I'm the canine handler for the Fresno County Department of Agriculture and this is my canine partner Soya. Soya, you want to say hello? So we are one of several teams throughout the state that goes through terminal facilities um, that you might have packages delivered to your house or business. We get up really early in the morning when they're sorting everything and we go through these terminal facilities and so I hear smells thousands of packages daily looking for the plant material and when she finds something she alerts on it by scratching. This is simulating like a, a pallet inspection. So she's trained to alert at least three times, scratch three times is, is, is a positive alert. Yes, you can see this box is blank, but if we open it up, she has got a mango. On December 3rd, Samantha told her roommate that she was going to run some errands and that she would be back later. She put her dog in his crate and headed out. However, Samantha never returned. When she still wasn't home the following day, her housemate got worried and decided to call her parents and file a missing persons report. Prior to her disappearance, Samantha mentioned that she was going to Costco to return something. To verify this, authorities looked at video footage and they were able to confirm that Samantha did make it to the Costco in Fresno. They also have footage of Samantha earlier that day. She had met up with an unidentified person to sell them a weight set. She had met this person on the app OfferUp, which is a buying and selling platform basically. And according to authorities, everything went smoothly with that transaction. After that, she made her way to Costco. Once there, she did make her return, which was a camping lantern, I believe. She did not purchase anything while there and proceeded to leave. At around noon, her 2002 silver Honda Civic can be seen exiting the parking lot. At that time, Samantha was alone and there wasn't any suspicious behavior like anyone watching her or following her car. I read that her car was last seen driving north on Fryant Road at Fort Washington, which is about three miles from the Costco, but I'm not positive. After that, there have been no sightings of Samantha. There also hasn't been any activity on her bank accounts, her social media accounts, or her phone. Her 2002 Civic also hasn't been located. Initially, some wondered if Samantha had potentially gone for a hike. She is an avid hiker, and she would go to the mountains sometimes to clear her head or to be alone. It's been stated that Samantha was going through something at the time of her disappearance. I'm not sure exactly what was going on, but she had taken a week off of work to think about things. I noticed that Samantha has a semicolon tattoo, which I love. In case you didn't know, a semicolon symbolizes solidarity and strength when it comes to mental health. It is possible that Samantha was struggling with her mental health and that she decided to go for a hike somewhere. However, I'm not sure how likely this is. She was not dressed for a hike and her hiking gear was found at home. She also usually took her dog, Atlas, with her when she went hiking, but if you recall, she had left him at home crated. That leads me to believe that she intended on coming back shortly. To be sure though, numerous searches have been done on hiking trails and within national parks where Samantha would frequently visit. 
but there was no sign of Samantha. Is it possible that Samantha had another meetup scheduled that day? We know that she had sold the weight set on OfferUp, so maybe she was selling other items as well. Maybe she had made listings on Facebook Marketplace or another platform and was meeting the buyer and something went wrong. It's been almost two months though, so I'm sure investigators have looked into this. What keeps coming to mind is the Cassandra Johnson case, which I have a video on and will link below. Cassandra was missing for nearly a month before her crashed vehicle was discovered. It always surprises me how many crashes go seemingly unnoticed, and I hope that that isn't the case here. Thankfully, Samantha was driving during the daytime, and there aren't many bodies of water in the immediate area. Samantha has plans for the future. She's in the process of renovating a 1986 Toyota New Horizon, and according to her Instagram, she's getting ready for life on the open road with her co-pilot, Atlas. She has a list of places that she wants to see and hike, and I truly hope that she's able to do that. Samantha is 5'5 and weighs 130 pounds. She has black hair and blue eyes. She has several tattoos, which I will include images of. If you have any information about her whereabouts or have seen her vehicle, please call the number in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.